Yo, what's up, YouTube? We are back at it uh, on the same day, two videos in one day. Why not? Right? So we have the NBA video going on right now. You can't tell, but I'm sweating a little bit, right? I'm sweating this pick out. I put, man, so Desmond Bain has 22 points right now. We need this guy to stay under 22. Hey, even if he gets 25, man, just stay under 25 and a half. Don't score any more points. He has a whole freaking quarter left, which makes me a little scared, right? A little nervous, but it is what it is. Uh, damn. Desmond Bain, he's having a good game. Hey, he He's proving me wrong right now. I did not think he was going to come out this fired up on um, the first game against the Pelicans, who should be having a pretty good defense. But, man, respect. He's doing his thing. But... We're not going to sweat that out too much right now. I'm going to go ahead and wipe the sweat off. And then let's go ahead and move on to the NFL season. So we got NFL tomorrow night. Of course, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going up against Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. The play should be obvious here, right? Honestly, there's not much to choose from. It should be pretty blatant obvious. We're going to go ahead and get Baker Mayfield and Josh Allen and lock them in for their overs. Right, look, so let's go ahead and look back at Baker's last two last five games. So 275, 206, 246, 146, and 317. This means, as you can see here, he's averaging over about 238 passing yards per game, and he's going to have to put up points, he's going to have to throw the ball a lot against the Buffalo Bills, especially because they have. The Buccaneers have Rashad White leading the running back room, and he is super inefficient, right? And against a Buffalo Bills defense, that could definitely stop the run. Yes, I know they are hurting in that defensive uh, backfield, but that is why I want to take Baker Mayfield uh, over because those cornerbacks, those linebackers are injured right now. That D-line is still pretty nasty of the Bills, right? So we're going to go ahead and take Baker Mayfield over his passing yards and, of course, combine that with Josh Allen over his passing yards again. Why? Because similar thing. The Bucks have a pretty good rushing defense. Even though I like uh, who is James Cook, and I thought he was gonna have a bigger year than what he's actually having. For some reason, the the Buffalo Bills are not letting him lose. They're not giving him the amount of work that he should be getting. And especially in a game where they're going to face a defense that is good against the run, expect Josh Allen to win through the air and be passing the ball a lot. Last game, I think he he should have gone under, but he actually kind of hit his over. I'm not entirely sure what his over was, but he was dealing with an elbow injury. Um, I think it's the same one that was bugging him last year. It's just a little re-aggravation. He is good to go, though. But you can see he even with that little elbow injury against the New England Patriots, who, yes, you know, Christian, um, I think, Gonzalez or whatever his name is, uh, the rookie cornerback, he's out. Uh, he was out for that game. A lot of other players from the New England side were out. Uh, but look, Josh Allen averages about 266 uh, passing yards per game. So this is definitely a spot where both quarterbacks should be hitting the over. But temper your expectations. It is Thursday night football. So we always got to be a little, you know, tread the water a little lightly on that. All right, so because we have quarterback, quarterback, guess what? You probably guessed it right. We're going to go receiver, receiver, receiver. Josh, I mean, Stephon Diggs over his receiving yards, 86.5 receiving yards. Mike Evans over his receiving yards. And look, Chris Godwin. Oh, what happened to Chris Godwin? So Chris Godwin's dealing with a neck injury. Man, he's not on here. So Chris Godwin's dealing with a neck injury, which is probably why he's not on here. Uh, man, so I was hoping to take all the, obviously, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and Stephon Diggs with the quarterbacks over, but it's okay. We're not, they're not giving us Chris Godwin, I think, because they don't, he didn't practice yesterday or uh, today, uh, or he had a limited practice today. He didn't practice Monday or Tuesday, so they're not, they don't know if he's going to play, but this guy's going to play. He's going to suit up. It's a neck injury that shouldn't keep him out of the game. They haven't disclosed full details, but they're saying it should. he should be good to go, which is why I don't know why Prospects doesn't have him up. I actually locked this play in, so I'm not going to do it. I already did that. I'm not going to double down on it. Uh, Baker Mayfield, Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, and Mike Evans. 
uh, to go over. So and pretty. So if you're getting Mike Evans at 57 and a half receiving yards, that's freaking awesome, man. I mean, Mike Evans, 82, 49, 40, 16, 17. He's averaging 80 yards in the last five games. 80 yards uh, receiving receiving yards. So the reason being is Baker Mayfield loves chucking the ball down the field to Mike Evans. Last week he caught a 40 yards touchdown. Expect the same thing this week. Tredavious White is out from the Bills, right? The Bills have uh, Milano out as well. So Mike Evans, he's going to take advantage of those cornerback twos and threes, and he's gonna do some work. So I like that. Quarterback, quarterback, receiver, receiver, take the overs on them. And, you know, I would put one unit on there. So $10 to win $100. I'm going to show you what I did. Man, that's pretty crazy that I have uh, Chris Godwin on here. I'm going to show you my current entries. Oh, man, Desmond Bain is still at 22 points. Let's go. All right. Um, so we got, we had this, right? We did this. We placed this on Monday right after the Monday night football game ended just because, if I know exactly what I'm going to place already, I like to take it early on because a lot of times the yards of the players will go up. In this case, lucky for y'all, the yards actually went down for Mike Evans. Uh, so you can see here, I took Josh Allen over 260.5. He's at 262 now, but we're not going to fight over three yards for Josh Allen. Take this all day, every day. Stephon Diggs over 85 and a half. Baker over 230. Chris Godwin and Mike Evans over 60 and a half. As you can see here, right, you're getting Mike Evans at a small discount if you take him now. So definitely a good play. Uh, man, I like this play. This is what? Six play, six picks, $25 to win $625. This is very, very possible. It's a six man, of course. You can see here, I took advantage of that Steph Curry um, free free play they gave us over Steph Curry. Steph Curry just needed to get one point yesterday. Obviously, he got that. So definitely, we're locking this play in. I'm already locked in uh, with twenty five dollars on there. You know, it's Thursday night football. So even though if you have a big bankroll, temporary expectations, it's just a weekday game, man. You know, if it's Sunday, I would probably go. You know, do do whatever you want on it. But I would stick to your one unit, whatever that is. If your one unit is ten dollars. Cool. If your one unit's five dollars, do that. If it's one dollar, do that, right? Just be what's the word, man? Be consistent with how you're doing your units. All right. Be consistent. Don't try to go crazy and you know feel good one week and then just blow up, you know, all in, right? No, we're not doing that. Okay. So whatever your bankroll is, bet accordingly or play accordingly. Sorry, we're not betting here. We're not betting. Play accordingly. Right, this is a game. So, this is uh, what we have going on for tomorrow night. Now, make sure you send this to all your friends, families. Right, I highly appreciate it. My goal is to get to a hundred subscribers by next Sunday. Right, so we are at forty nine. If we get to a hundred subscribers by next Sunday, I will give y'all four YouTube free YouTube plays next Sunday. Normally, I do one or two. Y'all give me 200 subscribers, I'll do four whole YouTube plays. If I'm feeling good, I'll give y'all six, right? I nor Every Sunday, I normally place about 10, some 10 to 15 myself, just because, like I said, it is a volume game. That is how you make money on price picks, right? So go ahead, send this to all everybody you know, right? And of course, don't be selfish. Help other people make money. If y'all have been making money with me, why not share this with your friends, your family, your dad, your mom, so that they can make money with y'all. The holidays are coming up. Everybody wants that new shiny little whatever it is, right? So share this with everyone you love. Like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Take care, everyone. I will see you uh, Friday or Saturday when we are a little richer.